The Count of Monte Cristo is a classic adventure novel written by Alexander Dumas. It tells the story of a young man named Edmond Dantes who is falsely accused and imprisoned, and his quest for revenge against those who betrayed him. The novel is set in early 19th century France and takes the reader on a journey of love, betrayal, and redemption. The story begins with Edmond Dantes, a young and successful merchant sailor, returning to Marseille from a long voyage. He is excited to be reunited with his fiancée, Mercedes, and his aging father, but his happiness is short-lived. Dantes is accused of being a Bonapartist, and he is arrested and imprisoned without trial. Dante spends 14 years in prison, during which time he befriends a fellow prisoner named Abbe Faria, who becomes his mentor and teaches him a great deal about history, literature, and science. Faria also reveals to Dante the location of a treasure on the island of Monte Cristo. When Faria dies, Dante uses his knowledge to escape from prison and travels to the island to find the treasure. With the treasure, Dante creates a new identity for himself as the Count of Monte Cristo and returns to France to exact revenge on those who betrayed him. He sets his sights on three men in particular, Fernand, who betrayed him out of jealousy for his love for Mercedes, Danglar, who wrote the anonymous letter that led to his arrest, and Villefort, the prosecutor who sealed his fate. Dante's revenge is elaborate and often cruel, as he manipulates events and people to bring about their downfall. He takes on various disguises to gain access to their lives and uncovers their secrets, which he uses to destroy their reputations and fortunes. However, as he carries out his revenge, he begins to question whether it is worth the cost. Throughout the novel, Dante struggles with his desire for revenge and his conscience. He also meets several characters who challenge his worldview, including the kind and compassionate Ide, whom he rescues from slavery, and Maximilian Morel, the son of his former employer who becomes engaged to Mercedes. In the end, Dante realizes that revenge has consumed his life and that he must let go of his anger and bitterness to find true happiness. He forgives those who wronged him and helps to set things right for those he has hurt. He leaves behind his life as the Count of Monte Cristo and sets sail with Ide to start a new life. The Count of Monte Cristo is a timeless classic that explores themes of justice, revenge, and the consequences of one's actions. It is a gripping adventure story that keeps the reader on the edge of their seat, and it is also a poignant reflection on the human condition. The characters are complex and multidimensional, and their struggles and triumphs resonate with readers even today.